Hello and welcome to this short video with me, Alex Aprigliano. We're going to be looking at mold tools. In this example, we're going to create a core and cavity for this dustpan. Okay, so I've shown the mold tools toolbar and first thing I'm going to do here is scale the part up. I'm going to scale it about the centroid by 2%. That will be to just allow for any shrinkage that occurs. Next thing we need to do is determine where our parting line is. So we click on parting lines. Within here, we can actually run draft analysis. We need to define what a direction of pull is. And this can be normal to a face or a plane. In this case, I'm selecting the front plane. And then we run the draft analysis. At this stage, the part changes color. Any faces that are shown in green have positive draft. Any in yellow, have no draft, red, negative, blue, have both positive and negative, and we call those straddle faces. You'll also notice that the parting lines box has been populated with a number of edges. The edges that are in the box are the ones that are between positive and negative draft. Let's press OK to complete that feature. If there are any holes in the part, we need to fill those in. So we can do this using shutoff surfaces. So if we click on shutoff surfaces, it automatically picks up on where that hole is. So in this case, it's the loop. So it will now give us the option to split the, the mold into core and cavity. So I press OK. And at this stage, we may see some um, sort of bleeding of colors in the faces. Now, the reason we get that is because at this stage, it produces two surface bodies that overlay the, uh, the model geometry. We have a cavity surface body and a core surface body. In order to uh, do the tooling split, we need a third surface, which is our parting surface. So we'll just go ahead and create that now. And that will pick up on the parting line that we added in earlier and generate a surface that will either be tangent to surface, normal to surface or perpendicular to pull. I'm using perpendicular to pull in this example. And I'm gonna specify that surface as being six inches. Some additional options in here uh, will allow you for sharp edges or smooth edges. If you have smooth edges, chances are it's gonna be a little bit easier to, to machine the, the tool itself. Press OK, and that's that surface completed. We're now ready to create the tool in split. So we click on tool in split. It asks us to generate a sketch on a plane. We'll pick the, uh, the parting surface as the plane and just orientate ourselves normal too. In this case, I'm just going to draw a, a rectangle that uh, covers the dustpan. If you want to, you can add dimensions to this. Okay, now when we exit sketch, the tooling bit property manager launches and we can define the size of our tool. So we can drag the handles here, or alternatively, just key in values here. It asks us for a core surface, a cavity surface, and a parting surface. And these are all automatically populated based on the work we've done already. All we need to do now is press the green tick to complete the feature. We'll hide those surface bodies away and we'll do a quick exploded view just to see what we get. Okay, so there's our core cavity and the original dustpan and you can see it's done a really nice job there. This particular example was a very simple example. Um, it obviously does get more complicated than that. Um, we will have a more in-depth video available for viewing from the 24th of May 2012. Thank you for watching.